So it's women's singles time. And the winner will meet PV Sindhu. Carolina Marin, the first Spanish player to reach the quarterfinals of a world championship against an 18-year-old. Well, could we have two 18-year-olds? I think PV Sindhu's only 18, isn't she? So, uh, that would be incredible. But anyway, Carolina Marin, she's not too uh, too much in the veteran status at the age of 20, is she? The uh, girl from Pueva, we're just being introduced to the technical uh, officials here and uh, Eddie Rufianto of Indonesia and Bert van Hornbeck are the two men in charge uh, the two players coming out well, what a big occasion for both they're uh, first quarter finals for both players at such a stage Carolina Marin one of the most incredible performances yesterday and Rachanot Intanon one of the biggest talents in the women's game it should make for a, a fascinating mix really shouldn't it Jill Yes, absolutely. Uh, the uh, only question mark in my mind is uh, whether Carolina Marin will deal with the situation. Of course, uh, Rachanuk Intanon has reached the All England final. She's won Super Series title. So she's played on the big stage on in the big matches before, and she's obviously played uh, for Thailand as the number one women's singles player in Sudaman Cup and things like that. So she's more used to this big stage. This is a huge, huge occasion for the left-handed Spaniard. And whether she deals with that, well, we're about to find out. Well, I mean, I, I mean, I haven't watched that much of Marin. I commentated on one of her matches a couple of days ago, and I was keeping an eye on her when she saved three match points yesterday against the, the number five seed from Korea and uh, as we look at the draw as you can see she uh, came through in uh, unbelievable fashion against Sung Ji Hyun but uh, PV Sindhu is who awaits in the semi-final and she's not short of guts Marine that's for sure I think that's one of her biggest qualities actually she's a real real fighter on court I suppose given their sporting prowess and various other games around the world, football and tennis and everything else you like. It was only a matter of time before someone did emerge from Espana with a bit of badminton talent. And here she is, 26 in the world, Carolina Marin, 20 years of age, and they're climbing the rankings in the senior ranks once, twice this year, the Finnish international, the Swedish international, but as you're suggesting, they're not the level of tournaments that her opponent here, Rachanot Intanon, has been used to playing finalist at the All England, one of the big events, of course, of the Super Series circuit. Yes, not only a premier event, but traditionally the All England Badminton Championships were sort of the equivalent of Wimbledon to tennis in that it was one of the majors, but in tennis, obviously, every tennis player wants to win Wimbledon. And, um, you know, that has been the case um, with the All England Championships. So, yes, a different tier of, of tournaments, but, you know, it's very important for a player's development that they learn how to, to win as, as well as how to lose. And I think that perhaps some nations from Europe have got a little carried away by saying, sending their up-and-coming youngsters to the Super Series and they lose early rounds and they're only used to losing. But the Spaniards have been very clever because they've developed Carolina Marin very well indeed by giving a mix of the top tier of tournaments plus those international challenger events where she can actually go and win titles. Well, here we go then. As I say, it's uh, an interesting mix here. And there's a lot of sight excitement about Bratchinot Intanot, the youngest player ever to make the All England final. Three times world junior final she made oh, three times she won world, it yeah. world junior champion <laughs> didn't quite last year he's not going to 
play this year. I think she's, she could. She's still Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Carolina Marie Spain. And on my left, Rachanov Intanon, Thailand. Rachanov Intanon is so long play. So what's going to emerge here? The Spanish Matador or the teenage Thai talent? We shall see. from nowhere she has this beautiful relaxed easy hitting style has a very light grip and a very long grip if you see she's holding the racket right at the end of the hand she does sometimes make look the uh, racket look like an extension of her arm doesn't she that's right but you couple Two, that with one. her very light almost balletic movement around the court and you've got somebody that's got huge potential Fulfill it this very week. Yeah. Missed it. I mean, it would be something, and I don't want to take anything away from Carolina Marin because it would be a se sensational story if she got through to the semi final. But if you had two 18 year olds, both not from China, in the semi final of the women's singles, that would do a lot for the sport, wouldn't it? Um, I think already you can safely say that what's happened at these World Championships has, has done a lot for the sport so and, 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 for, and for the women's so game. Yeah, I don't really mean that in an anti-Chinese way as well. I mean, no, absolutely not. I mean, the thing is, is that, you know... You want to spread the love a little, don't you? You certainly do. And quite frankly, if you're a sports fan, as you and I are, and we follow a lot of sports, uh, watching track cycling is a little boring because the British keep winning the yeah, whole time. Right. Same with the rowing. We, ah! we need to see other countries involved. So it's Three, nothing against four. me, against the British in the rowing or the, or the track cycling. There's nothing against me uh, with the brilliance of the Chinese badminton players. But for the good of the sport, we need more nations involved and to have youngsters from so many different nations really challenging what has been wonderful dominance by China in recent years is a very, very good thing for the promotion of our sport. And the man that's sitting over to our Four, right, Lee Yongbo, three. I reckon he'd welcome it too, wouldn't he? I remember when uh, a career unexpectedly won the uh, Uber Cup a, a couple of years ago, uh, beating China in the final, and he said that it's a good thing for the sport. He's just as realistic as the rest of us. And he wants to improve his players as well. And there's absolutely no better way than doing that than seeing a couple of them beaten on a big stage once in a while. Ah! Gets rid of any complacency, doesn't it? And what we've seen here is a Five, very even start. Three. We wondered about Marin, how she might settle on, on a big occasion like this, and she settled pretty well, hasn't she? Cross-court clear from Marin, 
good lengths, and suddenly, with the racket head coming through very quickly over the top of the shuttle, she produces an angle that you just don't even expect. So the solo, six, five. on both sides really. So much for my concerns about whether she would settle. You're absolutely right, Richard, when you said she seemed to have settled pretty well. And I like her response as well. Yeah, matter of fact, oh, I've just played a winner in the quarterfinal of the World Championship. Let's move on to the next point. Yeah. No uh, getting excited at the moment. start. Lee Chong Wei would have been proud of that net shot. Well, I thought it would be a good mix this match and it is so far. by that Marin. See another shuttle down low that she's got no chance of getting to. Yeah and the problem is it's not just the angle, it's so difficult to read. You know, obviously I can sit here relaxed and I'm and I'm watching and even though I'm not having to respond to it, I still can't tell which way she's gonna hit it, whether she's gonna hit down the forehand side or the backhand side. players have some sort of little tell. Yeah, she got a, a, a bit of luck with it, but it was a wonderful shot. Yeah, just that touch and feel, the grace. And the grace, and just making it look so effortless. when you thought she was under a little bit of pressure. Four straight points to ease back into the lead. Former world junior champion. That is 
standard singles tactics explore all four corners of the court gradually outmaneuver your opponent before trying to go for the winner I suppose when Ten, you're not sure, four. the best thing is to play it. Yeah. My very first coach used to say, if in doubt, give it a clout. <laughs> Don't risk it for a biscuit. Yeah. Probably didn't say that. <laughs> Rachanok Intonon with a, a little advantage, 11 points to 10, but it's uh, been a fascinating start, that's for sure. The of the scoreline there, and no one yet uh, to dominate. Seed. Play. Buchanan, that went to three games. Of course, she went to three games in an incredible match yesterday against uh, Sung Ji Hyun did Marin. going to prevail in this opening game. <laughs> Certainly showing a little more of the flair. <laughs> Marin's maybe showing a little more of the consistency. Yes, yes. 
Well, Eddie Orofianto saying don't delay the game, you've got to get ready. Right. isn't it to restore some pride back in to tie badminton I'm not sure if you've uh, all seen the uh, Bodin Isara Jong Jit Manapong incident so uh, obviously it made big news right. but as far as uh, badminton Thailand's concerned it was a, an embarrassing kind of situation but this young lady can do a lot to restore 15, that 12. actually not in on here Nothing we've seen Marine. It's comfortable on this stage and she won't go down without a fight. Surf was going long, sure. So we saw that. 15, 16. Yeah, you can tell the game gets long longer than Carolina Marin's shouts of or roars of approval to which point get a little louder, don't they? Yeah, our colleague uh, Steve Peterson was telling me a little earlier in the tournaments that some of the other players get a little bit frustrated and a little bit angered. By uh, her yelling after rallies. So you can understand why. Yeah. And it becomes habit, doesn't it? You, mm. It's almost like with good the out, uh, tennis out. when the ladies, when they're hitting the ball, <laughs> making the noises, which is even more annoying. Especially when they make the noise actually after they've hit the ball. So we saw Able to smile, even though she made 16. the error. 
Hey, you were at Wimbledon this year. How many times did you hear Sharapova grunt after she's actually played the ball? Well, not that long, because she didn't last too long, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> yeah, fair point. And it's such a shame, because Sharapova is such a, an excellent player, and Karolina Marin is a very talented badminton player, and I love watching her play. And, you know, if it's uh, annoying to watch and listen to, sort of spoils her somehow. Line judge was going to indicate oh, out, then indicated in. And what a big point as well. Huge point. It was on the line. It was on the line, made the right decision in the end. of shot making. Fernando Rivas, Spanish coach, a little bit anxious. Thank you. So this is over 1917. Oh, yes. Yes, that's exactly the sort of shot we have just witnessed from the world number one men's singles player. Li Chong Wei coming forward to the net, addressing the right, the shuttle from above. Yeah, it brings up uh, three game points. And you've just felt, haven't you, in this game that as gutsy and as determined as Marini is, Marine is, there's just something extra in the locker for Achenok into not. Yeah. moment actually in the uh, VIP area next to us at the moment where Lee Chong Wei and Lee Young Bo are deep in discussion having a friendly old chat Eighteen-year-old. 
was uh, a set where she just had a bit too much of uh, her Spanish counterpart. But uh, things aren't done and dusted here just yet, despite her being a set up 21 18. Marine played pretty well, didn't she? Really, on the on the whole, there. It's just a few points here, a few points there, made the difference. three gamers has she so far this week but doesn't seem fair, does it, when you've no. commanded the rally throughout, you've pushed your opponent to all four corners of the court, and then they get a lucky net cord like that. It's supposed to balance itself out, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, and it does. Sometimes it happens on more important points than others. I know all points should be equal, but they're not. So it's over. One, two. afford for Russia not to get too far away with her from her in the start of this second game. Oh, oh, another net court. Well there was one going Four, the other way as well. One. But obviously not as decisive.
You know, it's really impressive the way that the uh, Spaniard has, despite the fact that she's lost the opening game, she's still sticking to her game plan, which is trying to command the rallies. She's not allowing Rachinuk to actually use all her deception overhead. She's really trying to keep the shuttle going in a downward direction. She's trying to be the one that's been proactive in the rallies. And it's her best chance, isn't it, really? It, it is, but Four. there's an awful temptation. I, I know that when you've lost the opening game and you've had a game plan and it hasn't worked, that you, try, you start panicking. You think, I've got to do something different. I've got to change my tactics or something. But it's been very impressive. I'm, I'm so impressed with both these so players. Four, five, three. I think this new generation of young women singles players from Japan, Thailand, Spain, Indonesia, India, of course, I think they're going to take the women's singles discipline to a new level. Excellent shot there from Marine. Yeah, so this is over four, four, five. I mean, I, I don't know if you know, but I'm sure there's some terrific young Chinese talent coming through as well. Yeah. Problem is they don't get as much of an opportunity necessarily because the ones that are right there at the moment, the Wang Yi Hans and the Li Shu Wei's are doing so well. Mm. So the but it's not just the opportunity to play international four. tournaments and, and start beating some of the top players in the world. You know, I'm looking at the style of these two players and I'm seeing jump smashes. Play. I'm seeing really tight, tumbling, spinning net shots. I'm seeing the disguise on the overhead shots that all things that we see in the men's singles discipline. And, you know, we're now seeing it in the women's singles. For instance, the fact that Marin, have you seen her do a forehand serve yet? Everything's been a backhand serve. That's basically what you see in men's singles, a low backhand serve as standard. So the women now are playing pretty much like the men. They, they really are taking it to a new level. Oh, very interesting. I mean, you can understand, you know, there's a, you, know, you want to copy a, a successful formula, don't you, really? Yeah. It's a good lead here for Intanon, isn't it? She's not taking it one match at a time. And I suppose it's uh, the old adage, isn't it? But it's uh, the right way to focus on things. Every opponent's got its own difficulties. Marin's posing her. So the solo. Five, eight. Three points for Carolina here.
close, but she's trying to be positive, isn't she, in her attitude, Carolina Marion. Still hadn't come out of its spin. She's she's certainly a better player, isn't she, than a, a world 26, where she's ranked now. I mean, I think she just finished studying now. She's graduated from high school, and, and one would assume that affects the amount of time you can necessarily give to the sport. Because she, she played well, didn't she, in the 2011 championships? Yeah, she certainly did. She beat the number 15 seed, Eriko Hirose in 2011 the most extraordinary thing to me richard is that uh, carolina marin went down one place in the world ranking yesterday i know if you have <laughs> Simon awa did as well she went from three to four i do find it strange that that happens mid-tournament yeah i think we should learn from tennis and when there's a, a grand slam nine. event on they don't run the world ranking until that particular tournament has finished But she looks, uh, this, this, as I say, bringing up 2000. This is not a one off, in, in other words. No, not at all. So this is all on. And you know, I, I hate to generalise, but obviously we, we all travel the world, and there are what we'd call nationalistic traits from both players, isn't there? Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Lightness of Rajana when she gets the shackles, you know, hands together, thank you, and even when someone mopped the floor. If you've been to Spain, you've been to Thailand. Ah! Yeah. It's a common so way, isn't it? Yeah. 11, 10, into the ball. Well, disappointment for Rajana there. Seeing a replay, you can so see that the anguish in her face. She's trails at the interval. She does have a game in the bag, but it's Marina ahead 11-10 in the second. Level ten. Almost Play. sixty points in this match already, and there's little t between them, is there? diving to retrieve the shuttle is getting up so quickly carrying on the rally yeah on this occasion just not able to put it off Marine, but she wasn't far away yeah, yeah. two dives in the one rally yeah i'm not sure if any of you've seen it but when you watch goalkeepers in football training they yeah goalkeeping coach throws the ball one side the goalkeeper's got to quickly get up Ball's thrown to the other side. And uh, that takes a lot of 
fitness first of all. Agility and yeah, head spinning, isn't it? So it's over 12, 11. I remember two years ago at the World Championships in Wembley Arena in London, and we were working on that occasion with Morton Frost, former world number one men's singles player. And I can remember him saying to me, pointing down Wembley Arena, and he said, Jill, you see that left-hander from Spain? He said, keep an eye on her, she will be good. He knows a thing or two, doesn't he? Yeah. But that, that, I mean, she is good. And again, I don't mean to disrespect, there's, there's always seemed over the last couple of years something special about Ratchanokintanon, hasn't there? Something a little bit different. Yes, it's um, that X factor. Mm. You, you, can't, you can't actually describe what it is, but you can recognise it. Yeah. You can't verbalise it, but you can recognise it. Obviously, the mentality has got to have a, a big say in. Three World Junior titles, she's won Super Series events. She's achieved much as an 18 year old. She surprised herself there that she missed it. You see, Carolina Marin, I mean, she's only just turned 20. Yeah. Last month. Oh, uh, sorry, June. So, uh, you know, she's only just out of being a teenager herself. So both these players are going to improve and develop over the next half a dozen years or so. shot was it from her in there I'm not sure it wasn't her best vital stage now the second game 14-0 yeah it's very good judgment shuffle just getting caught with a sideways drift 15, 14.
16-15. Well, you got to feel for Carolina here. She got there. Just couldn't control it. And, and what a vital point as well. the short left. Well, I've been saying that the most important shot in men's singles for a long time is the tight spinning net shot and this is yet another way how women's singles is mm -hmm. emulating the men. It's becoming more and more important in the women's game. said Marin she's not looked out of place she's almost match into on here stride for stride but narrow first set loss and now narrowly down in the second just wide oh. just as you say 18 16 Such a fine margin between uh, tying it up and now trading by two. Three points away from victory here is Rachanok Intenon. to the other 17, to keep the rally 18. going and then this came at the end of it by Rachanok Lintanon. Trying to make it a little too tight and therefore making the error. in court but already by the time she's landed she's transferred the body weight coming forward and it really is a very well earned match point well i'm sure we'll hear more of marine in the years to come yeah, she hasn't lost this yet she hasn't yet i agree but uh, again down two match points down she saved three yesterday she's gonna have to do the same here today 2017 
Well, she did that yesterday in, in what was the decider. Uh, match point rallies again like we saw with Yanni Jorgensen earlier on two more you've got two more Rajanot against the wall. Determination in the eyes of Carolina Marin. Rajanot Intonot was on the verge of victory. Three match points have been wiped away. Bless. Senorita. three match points against her and she came through to reach the quarterfinals is she about to say three match points to take us this time into a third set she now has game point of her own Carolina Marin what drama to know that one mistake and I've lost to do that two days running and we're into third Fabulous.
sure we all thought we were going to be here Port waiting one, for a uh, third set. One, but here we are. Seconds. Final game, love all. And you get the feeling, uh, Jill, the start's more important here for Ratchanok than it is for Marin, in a way. Very much so. final against the number two seed Wang Sin. She was a game and 16-9 up. And she then lost 12 of the next 14 points. Well, she just lost six points in a row here. Yeah. In a winning position here, obviously, three match point opportunities. The first one was the best one as well. Yeah. There's no doubt in the talent, but mental aptitude as well plays a big part in uh, top class sport. Oh, she's back in so the box. So One, two. Long. So the solar, yeah, there's three, a certain little spring one. in the step now of Carolina Marin. Well, you can't blame her. No, <laughs> I can know. You? I mean, goodness me, how much of a power lift does that give you when you've just saved three match points? She's leading now. I mean, to do it two days in a row as well, feel kind of invincible. So this is over. Two, three. Thank you. Yeah, good call, line judge. It's not only that Marin will feel invincible. I mean, what on earth is going through the mind of the 18-year-old Arachana Gintana? Absolutely. Yeah. Celebrating mm. place in the semi finals. Oh, nice She's got a lot of talent shine through, hasn't she? Three, all. Some terrific winners. Yeah, virtually no follow through with the racket. See that the racket head just came over the shuttle, rebounded back up again.
So this solo, four, five. I get the feeling, Jill, as long as she's still within a point or two, when we get to the meat of the uh, set here, she's going to feel like she's got a big chance. Yeah. I think she's okay, but I think she did hurt herself. Did she just slip? Nothing gave way? No, I think she's okay. Yeah. Uh, got the OK for the umpire. Thank you. Shaken, but OK. Absolutely right about shaking. She didn't move at all for that one. Whether there's actually an injury or whether she's just lost her confidence momentarily on her movement. Well, I'm looking at the way she's moving. She seems to be moving pretty freely. see it through to its natural conclusion. Sure. Yeah, definitely. Seven all, one game all. Everything on the line. Calm here, Ratchanok Intanon. So easy to be regretful.
Turning Ten, into a nice run of points, seven. isn't it, for Hinton on here? Four in a row after the heavy fall. Play. for Marina, she's been the master of three games, isn't she? One point in it because the first two were 11 10. You don't call a winner, absolutely not. It's as tight as it could be. 11 10 and turn on with that <laughs> slender advantage. see from here but I can tell you that uh, Arachinuk had a big smile on her face as she was talking to her coach she obviously just stretching out her leg there that nasty fall. I think it was at six all wasn't it that she fell badly but, uh, there's no after effects just stretching as but, uh, she's moving freely still no after effects
Barabas so superbly put love. away. I know that the lift from the left-hander was not as deep as perhaps it could have been, but wasn't that a crisp smash? chance of reaching the semi-finals here. Who's got the character? Well, grab the chance. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, we've seen already seen Marie's character, haven't we? We've seen her nerve. Not just today either. <laughs> a real test of character, you feel he's on this side of the court. three points away this crucial crucial stage needs to regroup if she wants to win this match and regroup pretty quick away from the semi-final. Carolina Marin back against the wall, but it's normally when she produces her best. That's 
yards wide. That's all that matters. But uh, what a performance as well from Best Carolina Marin. Rachano Quintano, 21, 18, 22, 22, 22, 21, 15. 21, 15 in the end. Relief as much as joy, I suppose. Because for a little while there, she must have thought maybe I've blown my opportunity. Look at the ecstasy. Well, a wonderful match once again. Uh, Rachinot Intanon will now meet PV Sindhu for a place in the 2013 World Championship final. drama of that uh, women's singles we turn our attention to women's doubles and the number four seeds uh, Christina Pearson and Camilla Aruta Yu up against the number seven seeds from China Bao Yixin and Chong Xin Sin. Please welcome the technical officials to the court of play. 